Welcome to the tutorial video for the new Virtual Radionic Instrument VRI-4. If you have already used the Virtual Radionic Instrument before, the outline of the instrument will be familiar to you. The principal layout is derived from the original De La War instruments with regards to both interior and exterior, and therefore no changes have been performed to this. The VRI-4 is a web application, which can be used without internet connection, once downloaded from the server. The instrument is running in a web browser and can therefore be used on all types of devices, on PC computer, Android or iOS tablets. Because the new VRI has just created, although I tested all functions, you may still encounter some errors. If so, please report to me so I can correct them. I would also appreciate any proposal or hint on how to expand the functionality of the instrument. Please feel free to send me an email with your proposals. To access the instrument for the first time, navigate to this web page. The software is now downloaded to your browser, however, not permanently put into your browser cache. To do so, you need to install the application using the small icon in your address bar. The outline of this icon varies in between different browsers, but often include a download arrow or a plus symbol. As said, the outline of the instrument is based on the traditional De La War instruments. The instrument offers different modes with regards to the rate basis you are using. You can choose between base 10, base 12, base 44, and base 336 using the bottom bar. The layout of the dial will change accordingly. You have also access to a Pegity board. Clicking again on the Pegity board button brings you back to the regular panel view of the instrument. You can have a look into the black box using the interiors button to see the wiring of the instrument. When no broadcast is performed, the dials are not connected with the well on the upper right side. Clicking on front button brings you back to the front panel of the instrument. The broadcasts are performed via the so-called well, where the rate information is collected and bundled. On physical instruments, a witness is placed on this well, including for example a piece of hair. With focus on more mental working with radionics, the hair was replaced by a piece of paper with the name or a picture. The virtual radionic instrument offers two kinds of witnesses you can use. First is a virtual paper you can call with the icon above the well. You can then type any text into the appearing text box. By clicking again on the icon which is turned red, when a witness is displayed, you can make the witness disappear again. The same is possible with a picture, using the icon next to the right. You can choose a picture which is then laid on the well. Underneath the well, you can set a rate. Click into the box and use the keyboard to type in the rate. It is important to stick to the nomenclature of how to write the different rates. With base 10 and base 12 you need to set the points correctly. With base 44 rates, you need to put a blank in between the different rates. To get the dial set correctly, you need to press enter to finally set the dials on the instrument. After pressing enter, the dials will move to their positions. Underneath you find the setting for the broadcast time. You can set any time in seconds here. To add a color to your broadcast, you can click on the color patch field. A palette opens and allow you to pick a color. If you want to have more colors in your selection, you can do a double click on the color patch field when the palette is open. The palette will change to a more complex one from which you can then choose. Clear color will erase the color setting. The built-in potentizer can be set by input of a potency into the field right beside the button, which allows to set the potentizer. Looking into the internals, you can see the effect on the wiring. The virtual radionic instrument allows potencies up to 45 in a decimal system, means up to X45 or D45 potencies. To start the broadcast, we can click on the Start Broadcast button. When broadcast is started, the outline of the start button is changed and becomes stop broadcast. Looking into the internals, you see the dials are set and connected with the well. With clicking on the broadcast stop button, the broadcast is stopped. If you do nothing, the broadcast is stopped automatically after the set time. You can return the instrument to a standard state by clicking on reset. Thank you for listening to this tutorial. In next chapter, we will look into the creation of broadcasts using the internal ratebook and recipe list.